I wanted to take just a little bit uh, of the of the hour here and just uh, uh, give you a, just a little bit of my testimony uh, for those of you may that not know uh, since I uh, a little bit different than the last couple of times I've been here preaching I just kind of came and uh, was filling the pulpit and now it's more of a uh, a candidacy so a little bit different feel so I want to give you a little bit of my testimony uh, and my wife and just kind of give you an idea of where we're from uh, my dad and mom are both from military families uh, my grandma is a is a Jew from Morocco that she grew up in a Jewish home of a rabbi and she got saved when she came to the United States uh, some uh, ladies from a Baptist church knocked on her door and led her to the Lord. She was going to commit suicide because she, she didn't know the Lord. Uh, my grandpa was in Vietnam. She was just depressed. She didn't know what to do. And so she was going to commit suicide, and a couple ladies down the church were praying for her and led my grandma to the Lord. So uh, I'm, a, uh, I'm a result of soul winning, amen? And so they led her to the Lord. So she, she tried to grow, but, you know, a military home, they go from place to place to place, and sometimes there's not a, a good pastor. Uh, they even went as far, my grandma even went as far as trying to speak in tongues because she didn't know any better, and that's what they told her to do. And uh, they ended up in Colorado Springs, and they went to the Cornerstone Baptist Church. My grandpa came home. He, he still, he wasn't saved. He didn't go to church. And my grandpa came back from the military uh, there, uh, the uh, the St. Peter's Air Force Base, or uh, Army Base, sorry, and uh, he laid a track on the table. He said, here, somebody left this on the table I was cleaning. Why don't you call them? They might take you to church. And so my grandma called uh, Dr. Dean Miller at the Cornerstone Baptist Church, and they picked up my mom and dad, and or my dad and my grandma, sorry, and his sisters, and they were, they went to that church for 30 plus years. My grandma still goes to that church, and my grandpa now, he got saved uh, years later. Uh, he's uh, now been saved. He goes to the church Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, so that he's an answer to prayer as well. My mom grew up in church. My grandma and grandpa both uh, were born in, uh, on my mom's side, were born in West Virginia. They grew up in church. My mom got saved at an uh, early age, uh, and uh, dad got saved there at an early age at the Cornerstone Baptist Church as well. I'm sorry. But they met their uh, grandpa traveled in the Air Force Base, ended up in Colorado Springs as well, went to that church. They met at the church, got married. And I was born in Colorado Springs, Colorado, under the Rocky Mountains, moved to the flat state of Kansas. So praise the Lord. But we've been here. My dad got a call to the church here in Hutchinson through an evangelist, uh, Brother Johnson, that was preaching. And he said there's a church down there that needs a pastor. So he came, candidated, and moved down here after serving in that church uh, with Dr. Miller. Uh, we've been in Kansas for four, uh, going on 15 years. Uh, Dad pastored that church, started it, uh, well, started it back up. They were going to close the doors, had 17 people, and they opened the doors back up, and he got in there, and we've been here ever since. Uh, I got saved at uh, a, a youth camp. We went to Indian Creek Baptist Camp, and I heard the preacher preaching on hell, and uh, or he asked the question, and you know, do you know that if you died, you'd go to heaven? 100% sure, and you know, and he was. Uh, talking about, you know, not, if you don't know if you're going to die and go to heaven, you know, you know you're going to go to hell. And uh, I thought, well, I know I'm going to heaven. I'm a pastor's kid. Surely, you know, all pastor's kids are going to heaven. And, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, well, the Holy Spirit told me different, and I had never accepted Christ as my Savior. So I turned around, knelt right there, accepted the Lord as my Savior for the first time, and in my life realized I was a sinner in need of in need of a savior amen and before then you know i'd given the gospel i mean i had the gospel preached many times but i just never you know had accepted the lord and so you never know with your children always give the gospel you just never know when that one time is uh that they'll accept and uh you know and and really understand and, and get saved and so that was my uh uh, that's when I got saved, and then my wife, she's from down south. We won't talk about that, and, uh, you know, we don't talk about the south up here and uh, all the sweet tea. No, kidding. She grew up in Beeville, Texas, uh, and then her dad, her mom and dad are both from down there. Dad got saved at an early age. Her mom didn't get saved till she was 25 uh, in church. They were going to church, and she came and realized she, didn't, she wasn't saved and got saved at a, at a Baptist church. They've been, they served at a church, her mom and dad, as youth pastors and youth pastor's wife for how long? Huh? Ten years, yeah. Ten years down there. She got saved in Beeville. Uh, with her Sunday school teacher led her to the Lord, and then we met in Bible College. She came from South Texas to Longview. I came from Kansas to Longview, Texas. We met in East Texas and fell in love at first sight. And, uh, you know, I saw her getting a – we meet, we we, uh, we joke about it because what happened was that she was going to get uh, – they have cookies every Wednesday at the college. They bake these huge cookies, chocolate chip cookies about that big around. They were the best things I've ever had in my life. 
So she went to go get some chocolate chip cookies, and something about chocolate and love goes together. I don't know what it was. But she went and got chocolate chip cookies, and I got a chocolate chip cookie, and I said, hi. And she said, hi. And we walked away. <laughs> and I said, that's the girl for me. <laughs> don't ask me how I knew. But the Holy Spirit came down, and I don't know, uh, maybe it was just the chocolate, you know, I don't know. But we fell in love, and uh, we got married. Uh, and so we've been married now for almost, it'll be two years in August. And then we have, you've met little Adeline, and uh, she's the joy of our lives. And uh, also sometimes the early, she wakes up before dad does in spirit in a spiritual walk with God and prayer. So praise the Lord. But that's just a little bit my testimony there, where I'm from. Uh, and uh, if you have any other questions, I don't know if I can answer them or not, but I'll do my best. <laughs> well, first.